Pulitzer Prize winning author Elizabeth Colbert talks about climate change at Bucknell University on Tuesday afternoon. Also one of the themes of the book, one of the reasons that mass extinctions were not um, really even acknowledged to have existed and, and until the last couple of decades uh, is because uh, Charles Darwin and his mentor, Charles Lyell, uh, really didn't believe that they could exist, even though they're, even at that time in the 1850s, there was a lot of evidence that they did exist. Uh, they both rejected that evidence. And um, it wasn't until very recently um, that sort of geology and paleontology uh, broke free from um, that model and said, whoa, you know, we have to look at the evidence, and there really are these crises in the history of life. Um, Some meaningful action. What what can the, the millennials and the Gen Ys, what yeah. can they do? To yeah, they can vote. They can get, get out there and vote. And they can also make noise. I want to say that, um, you know, small groups of people in this country, and we see this all the time, uh, make a big difference because they really care about one issue and they really, uh, you know, pester, uh, they really um, make a stand. And I think um, that in the case of climate change, which is a an issue that one generation, you know, our generation and my generation is going to hand off uh, to the next generation, our kids' generation um, is an issue that young people should be absolutely, you know, uh, you know, on, on the streets about, and um, I, I always urge kids, um, to, young people to do that, and, and if young people voted, um, and they voted on this issue, and they made it clear they were voting on this issue, you would see, this gets back to your previous question, you would see a change in American politics, because um, American politics responds to American voters. Ultimately, it does. You know, people say This video is produced by Robert Ingalls of The Daily Item.